Today on Bike People, we check in with Team Checker. We learn about adversity. We witness the birth of a new team. All that and more, straight ahead on Bike People. Bike People is brought to you in part by the Des Moines Bicycle Collective promotes bicycling as a means of active transportation, wellness, and recreation in central Iowa. The Iowa Natural Heritage Foundation, working to protect and restore Iowa's land, water, and wildlife. Bike Iowa, your source for Iowa bicycle rides, events, and news, connecting cycling with Iowa community since 2001. My name is Forrest. I got my first bike at age three, my next bike at age seven. I've ridden in Europe, Australia, and all across our great nation. My name is Suzette. I'm a mom, TV personality, I have no and bike lover. I've known Forrest for years from interviews, rides, and bike events. Things up for rag riders. I'm in the bicycle business and a cycling enthusiast. I've been collecting, fixing, and selling bikes my whole life. We love bikes and all the people, stories, and adventures around them. We're on a journey to show you the world through two wheels to help you become Bike People. Hey, all you bike people out there. Thanks for tuning in for another amazing adventure on bicycles. Now, last week, we continued our look at Rag Bri by talking to riders in the Hanover Historical Village. Then we checked out some couches in the town square of Lake City. And also, we stopped in Story City, and I got to ride a carousel. Carousel is fun, I bet. This is awesome. Good, good. Well, I'll tell you what, this week, we'll be talking to riders as they finish Rag Bri. We'll be speaking with the director of RAGBRAI about next year's ride, and we'll also stop at the Iowa Bike Expo and check out the route announcement party. So let's pick up in Story City. Mary, it looks like you've been on RAGBRAI before. You've got I a have. vintage t-shirt. I have. This is 1992. Right? I know that's when I graduated high school, 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. You've been riding all week? Oh, we've been riding half days. Okay. We have fa other family, and so we drive some, and they ride. Okay, hey, that's the way to do it. When you're talking that, you know, you're, you can go 70 to 80 miles, well, half of that is still substantial. We've done plenty of the 70 and 80. So yeah. Yeah. We're, we're okay. How many we times have you rode on Ragbri then? This is the ninth. The ninth. Have the ninth. you had any trouble on the road at all? The wind. Yeah. Yeah, no flats or you didn't no have any flats, or anything? No flats, no. And I was really kind of riding by myself today, so. Oh, goodness. I was praying that somebody would help me if I had a flat. And yeah, you know, what What happens you know, when you're by, you're by yourself and, you know, something. They'll help you. So there's always somebody on the road. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, that's my biggest fear is that I'm alone and that I won't have anybody, but it sounds well, like. They'll help you. Well, there's 10,000 people, so at least somebody will help good you. Cookie, right? <laughs> Right. right, somebody help me, right. I hear my phone. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. So, two days ago, we ran into you at Hanover, the tiny little three-person town, and now you beat the heat, apparently. How was it? Hot. 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 Stay hydrated. Hot. Yeah, stay well, yesterday, hydrated. I think it was, well, it was definitely over 100. Mm -hmm. And today's supposed to be another hot day. Did you make it all 70-some miles yesterday? Yes. Or 80? Yes. 80. 80. 82, yes. I think, yesterday. We've ridden every mile so far. So far. Yay. All right. <laughs> We're halfway there. Well, I think, yeah, and we are. I mean, the, yeah. we just rolled 250 miles on the bike, so. Wow. Yeah. Have, has your team had any difficulties at all? No, you had flat tires yesterday. I had a couple flat tires. I hit a staple. Oh, my god. Pulled a staple out. Well, so what do you yeah. do? Like, you're on the road, you get a flat tire, you just, what happens? You just change it, and usually people, everybody was so nice, they'd Good. go by, and do you have everything you need? Do you have your enough equipment? Do you have tubes? Yep, yep, yep. So we carry so. extra tubes and um, we something to blow it up with. CO2 canisters yep. work really okay. well, because they pack light, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, I mean, as long as you're prepared, I mean, you can do this. And I, I think, I've talked to a lot of people and asked them about, you know, are you intimidated being on a ride like this with so many people? And everyone says, you know, you just have to be prepared, yeah. you know, for, for something to happen. And it's 10 miles at a time. That's true. And then yeah. you're going to stop right. for breakfast. 
breakfast yeah. or a beer or whatever yeah, it is. Lunch. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're lunch halfway time. there and we're still smiling. So so that, what's that say? That, you're having a great time. <laughs> we're in the shade. That's what that says. <laughs> Stay well, hydrated. Good luck. Good luck. Even yeah, you guys you. stay hydrated. Yes. <laughs> yeah. See you guys later. Hey, thanks. Thank thanks you. So much. All righty. Hey, all you bike people out there. Today we're going to talk about hydration, and there's no better way to stay hydrated than drinking lots of water. Well, Suzette, when people say, Suzette, you're a little wet behind the ears, they could be accurate because your body is made up of more than 50% water. Fair enough. Well, I know that I have two of these water bottles myself, and I always take them with me, both of them, when I'm out riding. Well, that's really important. As a rule of thumb, you should consume one full water bottle per hour of fitness and exercise. And that makes sense. I mean, that's what I do. I'm right. Yes, and if you're out there for a longer period of time, a hydration pack like this, this holds approximately the equivalent of four water bottles. If you're out for half a day, you don't have to stop for water. This will take you through the entire four hours. That's awesome. And remember, these are all insulated too, and that cooler water is better for you. Cooler water will absorb faster into your system. It's also a lot more tasty to drink. It is. Speaking of tasty, let's talk about these electrolytes. Well, these are electrolyte replacements, and uh, as your body is exercising, those electrolytes are leaving your body at the salts. This helps replenish those. They come in some great flavors. So if you got a favorite flavor, we've got it, I'm sure. That's awesome. Now remember to drink early and drink often water, that is, because once you're already parched, that means that you are dehydrated. You know what they say? Hydrate or die. Yeah, that's right. Hydrate or die. You've learned it right here on Bike People. You guys are traveling as a family. I'm a mom and I'm not sure if I could even make that happen. <laughs> What's it like? It's, it's tough. It's fun. hot. It is. Hi. That's for sure. That's, that's the biggest comment I've gotten so far. Everyone is talking about the weather. But it's not raining. So. That's good. I, and we yeah. rode in the rain before. Have you? Is this the first? This isn't the first rag ride? Right? Uh, for the kids, it's their first. Okay. It's our fifth. Wow. Where are you guys from? Connecticut. How did you hear about Rag Ride? Why, why come all the way to Iowa? Well, um, he read about it, I think. It was Shape Magazine way, way back. We, really? did, our, we did our first wow. Rag Ride in 1996, and okay. he read an article several years before that and said, I want to do this. And I said, well, if we train for it, and a couple right. years later, lo and behold, we came out and we did four of them. Wow, and you keep coming back. How do you, do you like drive your bikes out here? Do you ship them? Do you rent bikes? What, what's your story? Um, well, we came out with Pork Belly. Okay. And um, my husband drove out with our minivan with the bikes awesome. on top and the gear in the back to the end town. And we flew out to Omaha. We met up at the beginning of the ride. So logistics so just smart. getting to the beginning. Now, what do you guys ride? We have a triple. Wow. Pulling a trailer. Okay. So you two and Wesley are pedaling. and then Pedaling, he's pulling him. Yep. She captains the triplet. She's the captain. I am the captain. <laughs> We're the stokers. She's the captain. What? How fast can you go on that? <laughs> not very not up the hill. Not up the hills, not very fast. <laughs> Downhills, we can get some pretty good speed because we're heavy. It's, it's kind of yeah. like being a semi-trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get a lot of looks? Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot yeah. Of pictures. Even oh, among yeah. spikes. That's awesome. Oh, my goodness. So will you guys do it again next year, boys? Um, we'll ask them again at the end, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's nice. What's been your favorite part? Um, probably going to the pool yesterday. There's yeah. a pool at the end town yesterday. Yeah. And, uh, what about the root beer float? Was that a close yeah, that one? Was, yeah, that was. Here today. My favorite part was the pool. Huh? Have you had any pie? Yeah, we had pie. Yeah. Cherry okay. pie. Cherry, Cherry pie. pie. We've been looking for a rhubarb pie, not strawberry rhubarb. I know, but just rhubarb, and it is unbelievably hard to find. We'll search for it. We'll search. If you find it and you see this camera crew over here, stop we'll and tell know. us about it. Okay. Definitely. We'll and you know. you'll make it all the way to Clinton, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, make sure you stop and, and tell us how it went. Okay. All Great. right. See, when you go back to school this year and they say, what would you do over summer vacation? You're going to have a story. Yeah. The other kids sure. are like, I went to the pool and played um, baseball. Not you. You were about 500 miles. Ah, yeah. So, yeah, good job. Good job. Okay, thanks, so, guys. right here in Clinton, Iowa, day seven, the last day of Rag Ride, and the finish line, the Mississippi River. Oh 
where are you from? Okay, Nyack, New York. It's just awesome. about, uh, it's in the lower Hudson Valley, about 25 miles out of New York City. And? Big biking country there. Oh, is it? And also Vermont. I got a house in Vermont. So. Okay, now do you do road biking or do, trail? Or how does that work? I do both road biking and mountain biking, but I basically do road biking. Now, have you been on any of the trails here in New York? You've got an out here? System. No, yeah. but I'd love to. Maybe I'll be back. You? Yeah. Well, now this is your first ride, right? This is my first ride. And I'm out with a uh, group from Grinnell, and uh, in a moment of weakness, they talked me into coming in out. In a here. moment of weakness. And I'm glad I did. Yeah, and I'm no glad kidding. I did. Really enjoyed it, but seven con consecuive days of riding yeah. is a tough did time. Did you make it all the miles? I made it all the miles, right. In and over 100 degree weather, mostly. That it was tough. That was extreme. Yeah. Now, first time, what you got here is a 78 year old veteran, Korean wow. War, fifth wow. RCT. Say to hello, hello to all the veterans. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for, you? for staying and chatting. You're welcome. Are you going to come back next year? I might. This is, uh, might. And another moment of weakness. I got to send a picture to, back. My, to my friends that this is one of John Z's last big follies. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much okay, for, for coming to Iowa and doing this. You're awesome. Oh, I'm from Mason City, Iowa. Are you? Charles, huh. Charles City, originally. And you are team old guy on a bike. That's correct. Is there more than one old guy on a bike? There are several <laughs> of us out here. <laughs> are you the only one that made it? You're the only one I've seen here with a t-shirt like that. Well, I'm the only one so far. Yeah. I'm the fastest rider. Uh, there you go. How many years have you been doing this? This is my fourth uh, rag guy. Mm -hmm. I did number 10. It was my first one. Okay. And then I did uh, number 20. Wow. And then I did number 30. So you just rest up in between is what you're doing. I rest up for 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Which day was the best for you? Uh, I guess I'd have to say today because we're done. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, yesterday was a short day, but was it a harder, hillier day? Um, there was a lot of hills yesterday, yeah. but it wasn't too bad. Okay. It was only 40 miles, 40 some miles, so it was pretty easy. Yeah. Can I ask about the picture on your helmet? Oh, sure. I took that back in uh, 1982. That's uh, John Harris and Don Oh, Paul. is that really? <laughs> awesome. They were, they were standing on the street in front of a tavern, I think, when, yeah. I, when I went through town and I took their picture. I don't think they know I got their picture. <laughs> Real, no, they probably don't know you have it on their on your helmet. That's no. for sure. That's awesome. Yeah, and those are the rag guys I've done. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Now, can we expect you back next year, or do we have to wait another ten? I usually go every ten years. Okay. Of course, if I if I make it back, I'll be uh, I'll really be old. Then. <laughs> I tell you what, if you make it back. Come find us. We're the camera right. crew. All right. If you're if you're in this area, yep, I'll right. find you. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting. Have a good one. You're welcome. Thank you. TJ, yeah, um, you are the the maestro of the Ragbri circuit. Is that right? Director that, of Ragbri. Okay, it's <laughs> a good word, director maestro. Sure. When you say director of Ragbri, it's one of those jobs where you're like, oh, that's the best job in the world. You know, I'm sure there's probably some. It's not nearly as easy as it sounds. It's like, yeah, let's get some people on bikes and ride. That it, there's more. Well, there's a lot of people that come up to us and say, what do you do the other, you know, 51 weeks of the year? Sure. Um, but, you know, the thing about Ragbri, I mean, it's 
in our estimation, the premier bicycle event in the world. And we want to keep it that yeah. way. And we work hard at it. And I think all of Iowa takes up that challenge and says we want this to be the best experience when people come from all over the world. So we work at that to make sure that that one week of the year spectacular right. and so we don't rest we don't want to have other rides catching up to us um, so we work hard at it and we're gonna go out and pick great towns that welcome people um, like like nowhere else and that Iowa hospitality is the main reason why people come from all over the world to ride Ragbri. What about statistics and numbers TJ I mean what kind of how many people do Ragbri nowadays and what's it, what's it look like out there? There's lots of people riding bikes, which is a great thing. It's a great thing. Um, you know, we cut off registration about 10,000 people, uh, but it just seems like when there's some really nice days out there, like for example, the day from Cedar Rapids to Anamosa, there had to be 25, 30,000 bikes on the road because it was just a beautiful day. It was a short day, um, Friday. You know, what are you doing? Hey, let's go, let's right. go ride some let's miles. Get so the 10,000 regular people yeah. that are on rag bike, you know, going across the entire state, they get a they get a few more that that hop on. But um, and why not open it up to more then if, if people are going to? Well, good question. Um, there's there's a couple of reasons. When we're in a town the size of Lakeview. We were worried that we were going to run out of water and electricity. Ah, okay. So, Probably you know. Like, so, you don't want to Lake, guarantee that to anybody. Well, Lakeview's 1,200 people, okay? Wow. And the beauty of Ragbri is that we don't just go massive towns. You know, if we just went Des Moines, Cedar Rapids, Davenport, it will lose kind of that aura of what we are visiting small town, large town, medium towns. TJ, it's a lot of work, obviously, to put on an event that's that large. And so, what do you have? Hundreds of people that work for you? How, how does this uh, all. How many people do all that work? You know, our staff is, is basically about four people. And, that's, and that, that's, yeah, that is hard to believe. That is hard but to believe. We have four really good people that work on RAGBRAI. <laughs> Uh, we also bring on about 40 people during the ride week itself, our RAGBRAI crew. And some of those people have been with us for 30 plus years. So, uh, but they spend that one week of RAGBRAI with us. And there's just, uh, we have people from as far away as Arkansas that come in to help, help with that week. Um, and it's just, it's just a nice little family gathering for our RAGBRAI crew. Where do people come from to uh, come on RAGBRAI? Yeah, good question come from basically all over the world. We have all 50 states represented. Uh, we're down to, oh, somewhere about 65% of the people are actually from outside the state. So it's not wow. just Iowans. Um, we have people probably from about 15 to 18 different countries that come over and it's not just Canada, Mexico. I mean, they're coming from, I have to ask our, our folks with when the registration, hey, where's that country? Yeah. You know, so so when, when we see some people from, you know, Saudi Arabia coming in, China, wow. et cetera, um, it's, it's really neat. There's a lot of people that, that make it their annual pilgrimage. It becomes a, a family reunion. It becomes right. a, a college reunion. They might have went to Iowa or Iowa State yeah. uh, back in their college days and you know by gosh we're gonna come to Iowa and see friends uh, during the summer we have people again from all kinds of abilities I, I say we've had the worst cyclists in the world and we've had the best cyclists in the world literally um, that have come on RAGBRAI and everything in between but you know you're all equals out there you know some bikes are better than others and all that and but you know what everyone's got to get that 65 miles in yeah, or 70 yeah. miles in, the wind's still blowing at them just as hard or that hill still is just as deep. And uh, But it's a great accomplishment when you hit that Mississippi River. Thank you so much for doing this. You're welcome. Really appreciate you taking time for us. Isn't it great how they've really changed the Iowa Event Center? It is a beautiful facility. Well, one thing that hasn't changed the awesomeness of the Iowa Bike Expo. I'm so excited because all my friends come to this. We have so much fun, and then the route announcement party is afterwards. It's a nice event for all of the bicycling community. It raises funds for the Iowa Bicycle Coalition, which is a leading advocate for cyclists here in the state of Iowa. It's a little bit like a mini trade show, a little bit like Interbike that we'll be going to. Great, can't wait. Well, one of the wonderful things about this event is that so many different people all across the state uh, come to really talk about bikes, to find out what's new and exciting, and get some information to help them become a better rider or to find new places to ride. What everyone will find when they come to this show is there are a lot of great places to ride a bicycle in the state of Iowa. And you'll see lots of people that have uh, trails, 
bed and breakfast. You'll just have all kinds of great opportunities to go out and experience cycling. Have a great weekend, a mini vacation, if you will. Well, it's also open to so many different people. I know Iowa Adaptive Sports, we got to talk to them, and we also saw them on RAGBRAI, so it was great to meet up with them again. They're doing wonderful things. They do a great job for people with handicaps, people that have had uh, war injuries, for instance. It's a much needed uh, product here in the state of Iowa. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm excited for the route announcement party and for the auction. The auction's where the money comes from to support the coalition, so bid early, bid often, and I'm sure that the auctioneer will tell you if you bid too much. Well, I think that I'm going to bid on quite a few things. There's some really neat stuff out there. There is. You new bicycles, accessories, trips, lots of fun things. It's a fun event. You might get a great deal, too. How about we head inside and see who wins, the winning towns. Well, that's always fun. I'm sure the tweets just explode out there when the winning towns are announced. Everybody's scrambling to find a hotel room at those overnight towns on Ragbri. I can't believe that TJ didn't share with us. We're, we're good friends and we're in the biking industry, right? We should have found out. That's true, but I can tell you with TJ, if his mother wanted to know while she's on her deathbed what that route was early, I think he would let her die unfulfilled. He's very tight-lipped with this particular route, so he does his job really well. He couldn't even be bribed with rhubarb pie. No, but I probably could have been. I don't know about you at home, but I already miss Ragbri. I had such amazing memories, even through all the heat. It was certainly a warm rag ride this year, right? but those are the things that really give you stories to tell. The heat, the hills, the headwinds, the rain, the cold, and uh, stories are really important to have, and those are things that you'll remember when you come back next year for rag ride two for you. And I will come back next year, that's for sure. The stories that I will be telling is the spontaneous burning of a bush, we got towed home, the heat of course, and then all the other stories that I heard about soggy Tuesday and saggy Thursday all made for great stories. A lot of good stories, but the one I want to tell and I remember most was the full pie that you found for me in Marshalltown, Iowa. That's right, Morning Glory Bakery made you a rhubarb pie. The best part though was that I walked around town trying to find the expo, didn't know where it was, and I had a full pie and ice cream. A bit like the Pied Piper, everyone's following Suzette for a piece of my pie. <laughs> I didn't share, Thank I didn't you. share. All right, so tune in next week when we're gonna talk about commuting bike rentals, and one of my favorite races of all time, Urban Assault. That's your favorite, I love it. I know, so get on out there. And become bike people. I don't want to spend money here, which is good. So what happens then, like, the la next week, are people going to be on their bikes, or will you find, will the store be kind of dead? What's the story? No, we'll be pretty busy still. Oh, yeah? yeah, well, I mean, part of it is, for us, we have a lot of bikes to ship home for people that have come from all around the United States to do the charter. So we'll have a lot of those bikes that we'll need to box up and then send out via FedEx and UPS. Wow. Um, and that'll probably, well, it's a lot of bikes. And that'll take a lot of the week. So we'll do that. We'll have a lot of repairs. Of course, the shop's a little short-handed now because we have like 30 employees out on the ride here yeah. working. So, um, so anyway, we'll get back and we'll have a mess. We'll create a mess. <laughs> Clean it up as we unload everything and put stuff away. And uh, and then we'll get back to normal again. And uh, hey, I got time to go out and ride our bikes. Awesome. Ride our bikes yeah. Monday morning. So get out there and enjoy. Uh, get out there and enjoy it again. So it'll yeah, be fun. I'm excited to hop back on my It'll be sure. fun. It'll be fun. But it's a great event. That's it's exactly a wonderful way to showcase the state. Mm -hmm. It's a great way for people to see how uh, how they can face challenges yes, and overcome those challenges, whether it's the heat, the hills, okay, the humidity, you know, just the sheer physical nature of the ride, and it's just enjoyable to listen to the stories. So there'll be so many great stories that come oh, in over yeah. the next week, and it's fun to share the ride again with people and, and uh, really listen to uh, all the fun uh, things they did, you know, and by then they'll have cooled down, hydrated, they'll feel a little more human again, and, and it'll be an enjoyable week for you us. You have so. a lifetime of stories, and I can't wait to experience a few more of We've these rag rides. got so a lot a of good stories. Around. It's fun standing here, and people go by that I've met. For, good job, guys. See you later. See you in town. <laughs> but, you know, we have so many people we've met over, I've met 38 of these. So, yeah. you know, over all those years, bikes that you've fixed and people's rides, you've, you know, 
uh, made happen by you know taking care of their problems, things like that. It's really enjoyable. So uh, we get to relive all those stories year after year after year, meet new friends, and it's just a, it's just a great great time. Well, I know I've I've Best got one city. story so far. You know, I the first day I of Red Rye Road, three blocks before I get to your booth, my tire blows. <laughs> I mean that's and you're right. It's not yeah. the good stuff that you're yeah. talking about. You, it's usually the you adversity. need adversity in life because that adversity gives you stories to tell, and life yeah. is about telling stories. Right. So that's a good thing. So. Yeah. so Jack, you're how old now? Ten. Man, you ought to be ready to write this next year. Then, right? You'll be eleven. Mm -hmm. We already have the team name picked out. Oh, let's hear it. We're gonna be Team Turtles. Team, you know what they say though: slow and steady wins the race. That's what so I said. So Team said. Turtles probably an appropriate and okay name, right? It means you're gonna just go out there and have fun and enjoy yourself. Can you imagine the jerseys? They're gonna be awesome. Team Turtle. Yeah. I can see the helmet with the oh, little head. Yes. I, a little little Three feet coming shells. out of it. I love it. Team Turtle. Hi guys, we want you to share with us how you see the world through two wheels. Give us a scoop on your favorite trails, share your ride pictures or videos. Send an email to info at bikepeople.tv with any questions or information you'd like to share with all the other bike people out there. Well, the scoop I'm hoping somebody shares is a scoop of vanilla ice cream on a big piece of pie. We're talking about over the internet, like on Facebook for us. Well, can we at least have a piece of pie, like a picture of a piece of pie on there? Depending on the subject matter, we may even post it on our Facebook page, our website, or maybe even on TV. Now remember, this is a family show, but you know, maybe we could get like recipes for rhubarb pie. In fact, somebody could tell me where I could go out and pick up a piece of rhubarb pie. You are hopeless. Encourageable. Bike People is brought to you in part by the Des Moines Bicycle Collective promotes bicycling as a means of active transportation, wellness, and recreation in central Iowa. The Iowa Natural Heritage Foundation, working to protect and restore Iowa's land, water, and wildlife. Bike Iowa, your source for Iowa bicycle rides, events, and news. Connecting cycling with Iowa community since 2001. Thanks for watching Bike People. For more about us, like our Facebook page and... Check out our website at www.bikepeople.tv. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bike People TV. All one word for behind-the-scenes looks.